Melton Wilder, and I'm really excited to be here. And the name of my company is Shimmy. The Shimmy. I'm seeking an investment of $60,000 for 20% of my business. Okay, so when do we give the slip the slip? I don't know, but I am bringing it back, but in a modern way. This is not your granny slip. No, not like this, gross. My design is simple, elegant, yet flirty, and is an everyday wardrobe staple for every woman and every different body. Now, the reason I came up with this is because I'm a fashion stylist. I love fashion, but way more importantly, I love helping women look and feel amazing. That's my life. I am wearing the scoop, which I like to call the meet the parents. So you're not showing too much cleavage? No, that is inappropriate. Y'all know that I am Southern. Okay, next, the shimmy is the perfect layering piece. And Deborah has it layered here with leggings. Because remember guys, leggings aren't pants. No, 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 that's rude. Now, Katie's wearing this cute little dress, but it's very short, so she has on the shimmy romper, or more accurately called, the paparazzi protector. <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for those nights out getting in and out of the car without any wardrobe malfunctions. Yeah, you know who you are. Okay, sharks. I need your help to give to women exactly what they've been missing in their life, the shimmy. Now, I have the passion and the Positron. So who wants to swim on this fun journey with my shimmy and me? The Positron, <laughs> huh? Positron! <laughs> okay. So Sheldon, it's not a fashion piece, it's something to wear underneath other clothing. Yes, it's a foundation piece, but not a shaper. If you are a larger woman, is this going to accentuate your largeness or diminish it? The point is, is that there's so many shapers on the market, things that squeeze you, fat dislocators, but these are made to be comfortable. You know, it's not always you want to squeeze into something and not feel great in that. Tell us your background, Shelton. You know, you said you're a personal stylist. I have been in fashion since I was 16. I was a buyer, been a manager. I ran this amazing Where store. Where were you a buyer at? Where were you a manager at? It, this store in Charlotte called uh, Capital. Like, this blouse is from there. This was like $1,200 blouse. How rude is it to go and buy something like this and then sell it at your boutique and not have an underpinning? Incredibly rude. I have been at Nordstrom now, and so it's like I wanted to go to all the different markets. You're in Nordstrom with the product? That's the exciting news. I have been a stylist at Nordstrom, and I've developed amazing relationships, and they have the product in Seattle right now, and I have kind of a verbal agreement that we'll be carrying it there. A verbal agreement. A verbal agreement. I don't have this signed paper, but I just started the company, you know, six weeks ago. Six weeks ago? Do you have any sales? Okay, with the sales, I have 10 stores that have soft orders. And then I also have five What's other a soft order? Meaning, like, de they're definitely placing the orders. But so it's a long way of saying you have no sales. You're offering 20% for $60,000 to any shark that's interested. That means you valued this business at $300,000. You sold nothing. Make a case, because I don't want to tear you in pieces on this, but I may have to. I am such a hustler. Like, I don't think you understand. I know maybe I'm presenting like Southern Belle. No, I <laughs> will get out there on the streets. Like, I will get to step in here. And I love helping women look and feel amazing. Everyone. So do I, every day. OK, good. Well, then you need to help me here. Yeah, but my Come problem on. is your valuation's insane. You have no sales. You have no sales that have generated any profits. Look, it's just that to tell me it's worth $300,000 today is problematic because I'm a disciplined financial investor. I want some evidence that I'm gonna make money. Okay. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Did you sell any to all those customers that needed something that was right? Absolutely, they're so excited. They want the product again. They're like, I've gotta have more of so these. So technically you have sold some. How I many have you sold that you were just making on the side? Oh, uh, well, recently, I mean, like, but I had had some with this that were similar in my company that I worked with before. And so you I, you just, I you, just, I just. You had a company I, you owned before? Company that I worked with before. You work with somebody who made this type the, of item? The, this was my, this was my design all, all, all along. So but they were making and selling it. You came yeah. up with the idea? There was a similar company that I had with my best friend. So you knocked off your former company no, for your no. design? You got it, you, we're all we're okay. totally lost. I know, I know. Reboot. So, how much did you sell of the similar product together in that company? 150,000 in 18 months. Like, we were selling everywhere. And why did it stop? So as we're all asking you, what have your sales been? Technically, you could have said $150,000 in the last two years. 
Okay. Yeah, what happened Why'd to that stop? company? Why did you stop? Well, she had a family emergency and she moved home. Her, her father passed away, so. But why didn't you continue the business? Because you must have built some brand right. equity. Couldn't you continue under that name? I, I couldn't continue under that name because I was, I didn't have the capital to do so. If a company's successful and you have a partner, just because a family member passes away, it doesn't mean you shut down the whole company. You had all these people that loved it and everybody wanted it. I think all of us up here are struggling a little yeah. bit with understanding why, if it was a successful business, you did $150,000 okay. worth, why you would stop. I mean, are you holding out telling us something? Well, I... Out with it. Um, during that time, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Are you holding out telling us something? Well, I... Out with it. Um, during that time, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I was going through a lot of struggles, and, um, so now I cannot believe I've been sober two years and eight months. And so I kind of went through a big change in my life and went back to being a stylist and got an amazing job rather than a company because I, I didn't but, have the capital for it. We appreciate your so, being honest with us about that. Yeah, and, I just, and there's never anything to be ashamed of. And I appreciate very yeah. much that you've just shared that with us and that yeah. we understand Sh what Sheldon, happened. Sheldon, here, here's the part that I'm still a little confused about. Okay. The hardest thing in business to build is a name. Mm -hmm. You and your friends start this business. It's successful. What happened to that business? I wanted a fresh start. It wasn't great memories for me. Sheltini is an alcohol beverage, <laughs> and I'm not one anymore. That was the name of the other company. So it's kind of like, for me, that's what, like it was not good. That, Did you that go was bankrupt? I, I went bankrupt personally. Here's what happens in the Shark Tank. The truth always comes out. It's impossible to hide it. I wasn't trying to hide Why that. Why don't you just bring it all out right up front? Hi, my name is Shelton Wilder. I went bankrupt and I went Might to Might have worked better for you like, because I don't, I don't we understand. understand hardship and we understand people getting back up. And in some ways, investing somebody that's tasted that sting is better than one that never has. Shelton, I think Kevin's out of line. I mean, no, he's I, not. I, this is business and the truth always comes out. Kevin's out of line. What, what's happened to you in your personal life, that, those are your challenges. OK, so you've had this ready to go in your mind, but you just had to get your act together yes. before you could hit the ground Absolutely. running. Absolutely. OK. So now that we've gotten to the bottom of things, as we usually do. <laughs> wow. Uh, I feel, yeah. I feel like we just went through 12 steps. <laughs> Yeah. No, no I, you, you I, understand I what the problem it. was. I, I, I appreciate your time and respect you guys so much. Like, it's huge. I mean, it's an honor to be here. Sorry, I just I'm really excited because I've worked really hard to get back to this. And um, gosh, I believe in this product so much. I could, I could not get dressed without it. I literally couldn't. And that's the passion that I have for this that I will bring to every woman across America. I believe in this so much. Like, Shelton, this is my baby. We all appreciate your passion. Yeah. And I think everybody here would commend you for picking yourself up in life and starting again. Because that's what life is all about. Would you wear one? Do you feel I like would. It? Do you feel like it's a, something that's kind of missing out there in the market? I like it, and I think that there is a need for it. I think the biggest problem is there are so many things out there that are similar. They might not be exactly like yours. If you just keep doing what you've been doing, put all that great drive into getting this out there, you will make it without any of us. So for that reason, I'm out. Okay. You know, as Lori says, everybody deserves a second chance. I have absolutely no problem with your background. Putting that aside, my challenge is you've been doing it for six weeks. It's just too early. I wish you all the best of success in life. Today I'm at. Okay, thank you. I, you know, I'm not big into women's fashion, mm -hmm. um, but it's easy to see that it has a lot of potential. So I wish I could help you, but I can't. And for that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think your passion is amazing. I think that you, you went through some challenging times and you're gonna even be better now because you know what you faced, right? Yeah.
six weeks of business and valuing the company at 300,000 in an area of fashion that I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm out. Well, thank you guys for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Sean. Good luck. Good luck. Wow. We did go on a journey.